How White Room Students Obtained Their Secret Strength In the classroom of the elite there's various top students with crazy abilities. But compared to White Room students like Yagami and Ichikawa, the students are nothing in academic ability and physical ability with a few outliers. And let's not even talk about the other guy because he's on another level compared to anyone. Cough Cough Ayano Koji But how did they become so crazy smart and strong? Two things, time and repetition. You might have heard that doing the same things every day will significantly change your life. For example, say you work out every three days then rest, eventually this will compound after a couple years and you will have way above average strength and a physique way above average, but of course that is after a couple years. Students in the white room start learning from birth and don't stop. This gives them a major advantage compared to any kid ever since every kid when they are first born just gets showered with love and just does baby stuff. But the white room doesn't not care about what age the kid is and starts treating them like adults from their birth and makes them learn and train accordingly. Now think about how jacked you would have been if you started working out very early, maybe at like 6 or 7. By the time you're 16 you will have 10 years of lifting experience, no shit you will be strong and have an impressive physique but not only that in the white room. They get no junk food and eat food specifically for muscle, brain, and body growth. And for boys they eat a lot of food that increases testosterone. Furthermore, it takes 10 years to master a martial art and. If they've been learning since 4 or 5 it would be more than enough time to master multiple of them and become proficient. And the same thing is for their academics, they learn advanced topics from really early age like 4 to 3 years old depending on the kid. But you might think kids can't learn these things. It depends mostly but there's been a lot of instances where kids have done this. Like John Stuart Mill, from his childhood and his career we can see that this is possible and every day more research that proves this comes out. But one of the biggest things that separates a white room student and a normal person is their emotions. White room students are able to do what they need to do even if they are sad or even if they don't want to do it. Because one they have discipline and two they have no emotions. And the way that they are brought up makes it seem like that is normal. Compared to the average person this is the complete opposite. So for the people who are trying to improve themselves by learning from the white room students. Remember to learn skills or become as smart as Ayano Koji you have to study and train for a long period of time every day. It won't come easy and there will be no tricks as they did nothing like that. Second, become more disciplined and learn to work hard especially when you don't feel like it. If you are able to master these two abilities in time, this will compound and your life will change. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more content such as this. Peace on the street.